today we are here to study chapter materials metals and non metals and today's objective is to prepare an oxide of metal and a non metal and compare their chemical nature we start with a metal i have taken magnesium ribbon i have taken magnesium ribbon it is silvery metal and i hold it with a pair of thumb and then i keep it in See how it burns. It burns with a bright light and forms a white ash-like substance. And this white ash-like substance is magnesium oxide. So magnesium oxide, a metallic oxide. Let us see if whether it is acidic or basic in nature. I have added water to it. I shake it well. I shake it well, and then I put a blue litmus paper and a red paper. You know, litmus is an indicator which changes the color with the acidic and basic solutions. So, let's see. Blue remains blue, and if you look at red one. It changes to blue, and we know basic solutions change the color of red must from red to blue. So we can say metallic oxides are basic in nature. Now let us prepare our non-metallic oxide. I have taken sulfur, so I'll burn it in here. You know, just I take a spatula and burn it in a flame. Produces a suffocating gas. I'm collecting this gas. You can all see a white few white films coming out. This is of sulfur dioxide gas, which is produced on burning of sulfur. Right. Enough are collected. Now, sulfur dioxide is, is a non-metallic oxide. I dissolve it in water. Right. It forms sulfurous acid, and now again to find its chemical nature, I put a red litmus. You see, red litmus means red. I put a blue litmus. You all can see, blue litmus changes to red. Right. This shows that sulfur dioxide is acidic in nature. So, what have we studied? We have prepared magnesium oxide, a metallic oxide, and sulfur dioxide, a non-metallic oxide. And when we check their chemical nature with litmus, we found that metallic oxides are basic in nature, whereas non-metallic oxides are acidic in nature. Thank you.